Good morning guys, welcome back to another new episode of our Malaysia travel series. Yesterday night we arrived here in the paradise of the East Coast Malaysia, of Peninsular Malaysia. Currently right now we are here in the Lang Tengah Island. As you can see the view behind us is just amazing. Currently right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We are walking around the resorts. Uh, maybe we'll get some morning dip as well in the morning uh, later. Yeah. So if you can see, it's very, very sunny today. So when you go to an island, of course you want it to be sunny. And the weather is just so perfect for us to spend the whole day here at the beach. Yep. And today is going to be a day um, filled with some activities because yesterday when we arrived, so we just pretty much just chill on the beach and then just have some dips and then just walking around to see what the island can offer. So today, um, just stay tuned to what we're going to show you. Uh, it's really, really beautiful and... Yeah, amazing. And we will doing a lot of activities today like the jungle trekking later and also later yeah. in the afternoon we are going to snorkeling as well to explore some of the most pristine uh, beaches yep. and seawater here in the Pulau Lang Tengah area. Stay tuned guys, see you guys. Woo! Look how clear is the water. You can even see the fishes swimming around. The water is so warm, it's just in the morning and it's so warm, it feels so great. Now we are going to snorkeling in front of the resort and show you how beautiful is it just in front of the resort. One of the good things uh, staying in this resort, this side of the island is also the wave is not too strong. There's no wave here, the water is very calm. It's very nice for snorkeling as well because the wind is blowing from the other side of the island. So the other side of the island is actually have stronger wave. Uh, this side we are facing the west of the island. And that island over there, that's the Perhentian Island. Sand here is also very soft, just like a milk powder, as you can see. It's very, very soft, which is a good quality sand. So, first activity of the day jungle tracking, and let's get started. Let's see what can we find, what kind of species can we find in the jungle over here in the Lang Tengah area. We just started five minutes ago and we are really tired. <laughs> this is pretty steep. <laughs> and this is a challenging trail. If it's rain for the past few days, then they will be cancelled the hiking, the jungle trekking as well. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit tired. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. So the total journey of the trail is, return journey is about one and a half hour uh, at normal speed and we will go to the other side of the island where the east side of the island we are 25 minutes down and look at my sweat <laughs> just like showering 
in the bathroom. And currently we are halfway done. We're surrounded by a thick jungle, you can't even see the sunlight from here. So there's no clear path along the trail. Just it's not really a popular trail that everyone will come but the good thing is the resort actually tied the ropes along the way so you can just follow the ropes and grab the ropes and help you along the trail oh my god that's a difficult part okay and actually this mountain is quite rocky over the other side and it's tough it's really tough look at the trail in front of me it's all rocks okay so it's all rocks big rocks loose rocks and there's no stairs there's no a clear path mostly how we help ourselves and just step upwards so we have finally arrived at our final destinations. Look at this amazing view. On the east side of the island, there's no beach. It's all rocks like this. And therefore, they only can build resorts or any vacations place on the west side of the island. And the island we are looking over there, that's Redang Island. I think it's quite worth it. The view here is quite nice. It's a sunrise view. So if you come early in the morning, you are able to see the sunrise as well. And here, just so quiet. Uh, only the bugs, the voice, the noise of the bugs, and also the uh, sound of the oceans, the wave, and the breeze is very comfortable, very windy. Air is so fresh as well. Uh, I think it's a good place for meditations as well to clear off your mind a little bit. So right now we are heading to snorkeling and the weather is just awesome. It's hot, windy. See you in the ocean. Yep. So we are arrived at our first snorkeling point and let's get on water and see what's under the water. And we heard that this is the best spot for snorkeling in Lang Tung. snorkeling spot indeed is one of the most beautiful spots here in Lang Tengah. It's almost similar to Palawan that reminds me a lot of Palawan. The corals are a lot. It's a huge coral gardens down there. So now we have arrived at our second spot which is our last snorkeling of the day. And let's see what we can we find down there. That's all the footage we took underwater during our snorkeling trip. Uh, we just came back from our snorkeling trip and you can see we are really burned right now. You can see my face is really burned right now. The snorkeling trip, it was amazing. It's actually way better than what we expected. Uh, we usually expect just 
you know, see uh, uh, some a lot of dead corals or just some of the small fishes. But surprisingly, the coral gardens there, uh, the the place that we went to snorkeling, is just beautiful. It actually similar to Palawan and Philippines that we went to. Even the water color, it looks like Palawan too. So we are quite happy that actually this place is really nice for snorkeling. If you didn't sign up for the snorkeling uh, or you want to go for more snorkeling, the place in front of the resort near the jetty is also a very nice snorkeling spot where you can see a lot of uh, baby sharks. We also even see turtles uh, this morning when we went ourselves. Uh, stingray so we are quite lucky and I heard that it's sometimes you can even see uh, more species over there you know so it's a great place uh, Lang Tengah is a beautiful place for diving and snorkeling as well so we are here for four days three nights um, in Lang Tengah Island I think that um, this is a really good uh, duration you're gonna have for a trip because for what I see, others having 3 days, 2 nights which are more popular but um, it's a bit too rushed so if you have more time, it will be good for you to stay uh, one day longer so you can experience more as well as to um, relax a bit, not too rush when you go to the activities and things like that and the fact that we take a flight is because the journey from our capital city Malaysia, um, Kuala Lumpur, it's a bit far. If you, are, you were to take um, a bus or a car, it takes you around like five to six hours. So, and then you have to take another ferry to the island, so it'll be a very tiring journey. So, flight only takes around one hour. For um, It's much more expensive, but if you get a sale, then um, it'll be a great deal. So, yeah, the whole experience here was really great and I really hope that you guys can really come here and enjoy what um, our famous Lang Tanga um, is going to offer to you. So if you like this um, episode and if you like our series, please subscribe and also like our videos and stay tuned to our next travel series.